ਮੈਂ ਮਿਊਟ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਗਾਇਸ ਸੋ ਟੁਡੇ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਨਾ ਬੀ ਔਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਪਰਮ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੋਲਡ ਮੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਮਿਸਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਓਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੈਟ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ 2% ਡਾਊਨ ਥੈਟ ਡੇ ਆਈ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਆ ਟੂਕ ਟੂ ਲਾਸਸ ਔਨ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਡੀ ਜੇ ਪੀ ਵਾਈ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਈ ਸਟਿਲ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਸਿਗਨਲ ਬਟ ਆਮ ਜਸਟ ਫੋਕ ਇਟਸ ਆਮ ਮੀਨ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਟੂਕ ਟੂ ਲਾਸਸ ਔਨ ਔਨ ਯੂ ਜੇ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਮੈਨ ਥਿਸ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਰੀਲੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਫੰਡਿੰਗ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਰੀਲੀ ਪੁਟਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਔਨ ਮੀ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਈ ਸੋ ਆ ਸੈਟ ਅਪ ਲਾਈਕ ਏਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਵਾਸ ਅਲਾਈਨਿੰਗ uh everything was aligning basically all right and i saw these shots i don't know maybe long or short i don't remember but it was gold trade all right i took a gold long or short i don't know i still remember i banked 600 dollars there all right and i lost 400 uh like on usd jpy so what you can take away from this is i i simply told myself man this is fucking putting way too much pressure on me all right and now i'm seeing the setup now should i enter should i not all right i was like that and i said to myself man this is my plan i should execute no matter i have taken a loss yes i have taken a loss and uh, it's just a matter of risk to reward all right i mean this if you are afraid to risk in this market all right then i think uh, it is going to be very tough for you you should accept the risk all right of course i was afraid I was afraid that if I lost the uh, one more percent then I'm going to be down 3% for the day. All right? But the upside is yeah, if I won it, that is going to be good. But it doesn't mean you will take unnecessary trade in order to make this statement true. All right? Everything has to align with your plan. This trading thing needs so much focus. All right? You can't even afford a single mistake. All right? I I I actually took a mis uh, I did a mistake on uh, pound CHF maybe yesterday uh, actually on Friday I took a trade I I shorted it right here uh, maybe somewhere around here I don't know Let, let's say somewhere around here I shot it somewhere around here all right it was my dumb mistake to be honest price I knew from the bottom of my heart like this nature is going to go to the upside look here man it is failing it is already at the bottom all right it is failing momentum was not enough if the price should have closed under this then i would have been like uh let me just uh, use the replay tool like this all right so if price have closed under this then that thing was valid which i was uh, i was actually going to sell all right but price actually never gave this type of thing and i did a very dumb mistake now myself i'm going to start the 50k challenge soon maybe next week all right so why i'm doing this session is basically one thing is i'm reminding myself that um uh you don't really have to lose the focus and you don't have to take the dumb trades because it will cost you money and it will um it will make you psychologically unstable all right uh and uh, yeah one thing this and second thing is you should not be afraid to take the trades if you see everything aligned it doesn't mean like um you you read any book and you see the same bookish thing all right uh, what do i mean by that you you read like oh man is chalk flip oh man is double top it's fucking pattern all right you read that in a book or i told you or somebody told you right you know, through the youtube video or something like that you read it somewhere and you come to the market you are like man i have seen this um i've seen this in the book uh, that the youtuber mentioned that or maybe sam mentioned that all right because he have taught us chalk flip and things like that and you execute based on that that is totally wrong approach all right if you are learning all right then you can experiment this thing but if you are putting the money live then you can't experiment the things man all right you can do experiments on the real money all right what do i mean by that is you have to strictly execute the trades that you have seen enough all right that you have executed enough of course you will see chalk flips most of the time all right most of the time price will tap the demand and it will give you chalk flip and you will execute most of the time it will 
it will uh, just stop you out or it will just take you out all right now you are like what is my mistake man sam taught me i have executed uh, trace like that and it has played out in the past and now it is not playing out all right one reason maybe you are not um, aware about the momentum going on in the market you are not aware about the daily daily candle all right and uh, uh, what else can be the reason you are not understanding the momentum on the smaller time frame how the price is approaching there you are not using your common sense what do i mean by that is all right what do i mean by the common sense is now somebody told you maybe it can be some this session can be boring or something to you but it is you already know the things man i'm just rewiring the things i'm just telling you the things again all right so you just can um, you just can connect with me here all right you have to use your common sense here you have to uh, you have to apply the things that you have seen enough all right so for, uh, for example this is the demand all right for example this is the demand and uh, I'm, I'm gonna draw the daily kind of like this all right so you see the daily candle like this in the london session for example i'm just saying all right and price is in your demand all right it can be any demand all right it can be any demand now price is in your demand and you see daily like this now using your common sense and using the things that you have observed in the market here what you can expect price will pull back a little bit and then it might can close like this all right leaving a little bit of wick in theoretically in this bookish language what do i mean by this is all right price is like this in the london all right now if you take a trade price will be like this on the daily now price will be like this on the daily all right it means you have catch the pullback all right but price hasn't closed yet all right so what the price can do price can close simply the way it, it was supposed to close like this all right it means the price will mm, all right yeah so this is the diagram that um, I'm just showing you guys, maybe the bookish type of thing. Now, here you are just using your brain, man. If price is falling, 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 and daily is having so much momentum, all right, it is in the demand, then I might can trade a pullback, all right? I did the same thing uh, on, on GBP AUD trade. We will discuss about that, all right? First, first, we will cover a few topics that maybe can be useful for you, all right? may may um, may uh, those concepts may not be useful for you all right it's up to you all right either you want to take the concepts in your trading or you just want to eliminate that and you want to pick 10 percent of that thing it is fine all right because at the end you will just mold the things and uh, suppose you learn like i presented 100 percent here all right you take maybe 20 percent of the thing and you apply that in your trading that is fine all right even if you take a little bit so that's that was the common sense all right if price is approaching that and daily is like that man maybe it can give you a little bit of pullback don't expect too much all right maybe two three four are just get out then all right now this is this just using the market behavior have you seen this thing enough now i have told you um i have told you in this session all right like price sometimes play like this all right and other thing you can add in the confluence if you watch my daily breakdowns uh, uh, if i sent in the morning uh, sometimes i have m i have mentioned there was no wick on the previous daily on the uh, on the daily like on the past weeks daily daily candles all right so most likely price will fill that wick is that knowledge is aligning with this thing that i told you all right so you have to bring everything together right here um so in the in this gold case so i i told you like um price was gonna fill this wick all right i told you multiple times it made a wick all right now it rejected now it, it is showing a very aggression to the downside now potential uh daily now actually i'm planning uh, to sell gold on the monday all right 
Why? Because momentum is fading away and next daily can be bearish. Alright? So next daily can be bearish because momentum is simply fading down. Alright? So we can how we can sell this thing. Alright? So we just can wait for this to get tapped. Alright? So now use your common sense guys here. Like the daily is like this, alright? Mm, I think daily was like this. Yeah. Now this order is somewhere around here on the daily. Alright. Now it is very uh, I would say uh, higher probability that price will make a wick. Now at that time candle will look like that. Don't get faked out, alright? And then it might can flip. Alright. So this is what I'm planning for the daily. Now um, this will be just the top wick and then melt. Price also have broken this structure, all right? And also it must have been supply, all right? It is supply. Now, if you see here, I took these concept at last. First, I try to understand what the price is trying to do, where the price is trying to go, all right? Now momentum is clearly fading away. Of course, if it has to go up, it should be bullish. Um, tomorrow means bullish. Like if it close like this, all right. It means it is bullish. Then we can expect continuation, and then we can um, just cast. Uh, just we can do our thing like auto blocks and uh, mark in other confluences, and then we can trade that. But so far it is showing me that next daily can close bearish all right yeah next daily can close bearish other than that i don't see anything all right so again i will um, go back to the thing that param mentioned all right he told like he was marking gu and eu all right it got exactly like he planned it played out exactly like he planned all right so he was in the same situation like i was when i took usdjpy losses two losses two percent down in the challenge psychologically mentally man uh, uh actually challenge was really testing the thing actually it was live it was not challenge all right so i was live down on two two percent down on the challenge so so what i didn't different than param is i hear stick to the Confidence. I'll actually, uh, I, I would not say the confidence. I just stick to the trade, trading plan. I would say that I have seen enough, and I just put it my faith into that, and accepting the risk. Man, the game we are, it is just risk to reward. All right. If you are not willing to risk, then uh, of course you will not be. Uh, you will not. Be, you will not be worthy of reward. All right. So you really have to keep this thing in mind. All right. Uh, don't let uh, this negative thing affect your uh, psychology all right M yes if you take multiple losses in a row then yeah let me show you one thing man i haven't uh, really spoken about this on the instagram mm. actually i took multiple losses on my broker i was down 7.5 percent guys right seven point let me pause this mm. i just want to focus on the history right so i'm gonna go to all history right here let me resume it i'm gonna go to all history right here do you think i don't feel the pressure that you guys feel of course i do all right now i'm gonna just make it to um i think last month all right and i'm gonna make it to 13th yeah now i request you to look at the negative thing man what the fuck uh may it is not the may it is april brother it is the april first and may uh it is not the may it is april 13th all right so this is the exact date i want you to look at the balance it is negative thousand dollars how much it is in minus i think it is like mm, maybe 5.5 percent yeah 5.5 percent in drawdown i was in life all right do you think that um, 
I was not affected with this thing. Of course, I was. I am human. All right. Um, of course, I was affected. I was afraid, man, I'm going to lose this thing. I have to redo the things again and again, again. All right. The thing that I told you guys right now, I told to myself that time, man, it is a game of a risk to reward. I have to put my faith in these setups. All right. And I have to put risk on the table. It doesn't mean I will be risking 5%. 2%, 3%, all right? 1% is very fair, all right? It is also aggressive in the challenge. To be honest, you should risk 0.5%. Why I risk 1%? Because I'm that kind of guy who try to make only 3% in two weeks. I just want 3% in two weeks so that I can withdraw it because my withdraw is bi-weekly, all right? So that I can withdraw it and I can redo the 3% thing again. So that way I only have to take one good trade. If that is a loss, maybe second good trade. If that is a loss, third will be like there is a 90% of chance. Maybe I would win that. All right. So even if I won the third trade, maybe one to four still I'm in 2% profit. So that is again good. All right. Right now I'm aiming for only 3% um, uh, bi-weekly. It means in a two weeks, I only want to make 3%. I don't even have to try to force myself. I, now I have already made the 3%. I'm just chilling. I don't even have to trade right so i will just take the withdraw i will invest in the 50k and then uh, we will i will uh, i will show you guys what i did now i was down one uh, five point um, five percent all right and i was like man so i simply accepted the risk i was like man if i'm gonna lose the challenge it's okay but i should not be afraid to take the risk i should i should put my faith in the setups all right that is the thing that I told to myself and I was pretty like confident, like, man, all right, uh, Sam, you can't be like that, man. We have passed the challenge now. If it goes, it's okay. But are you afraid to, if you're afraid to take the risk, man, you will never achieve the things. Of course, it is, it, it is way too risky. This challenge thing, man, it is like, uh, uh, on the psychological part, it is way too harsh. All right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, even if you are live, even if you do fucking 10 challenges, man, all right? If you have 200K and you, you receive past four or five couple of withdrawals, oh. still you will be in the same, uh, same uh, I would say, situation that I was in, all right? So accept the risk, take the shot. If you, lo if you lost that, uh, no problem, man. You are not going to die, bro, all right? So um, you can redo that thing again. But the thing is that, you should execute these setups that you have executed enough. If you execute, ex if you experiment these setups, then you will keep on losing and losing and losing. All right. If you execute these setups that you have executed maybe multiple times, let's say 10 times, 15 times, 20 times. All right. That will give you confidence and you will be in the same situation like I was when I told myself that you need to accept the risk. If, if it is gone, it is gone. But if you see that setup that you have executed before, you have to take the shot. All right. You have to execute if you have executed the setup before. If you didn't, like Param, you didn't, man, execute it. Like uh, you, you mentioned, like you saw GU drop, everything drop. So if you have seen that setup enough, then that was valid. If you were just experimenting, man, that was chalk flip. All right, man. Uh, Actually, chalk flip, man, it is just, uh, you see it everywhere. I would not say that is uh, experimenting. I would say, uh, if you have experiment, if you haven't seen that nature enough, all right? So what was my mistake in the GBPCHF that I mentioned? I was not, I didn't consider the nature, all right? I will also talk about the setups that are working good for me. So bear with me. Um, uh, yeah. I was not aware about this fucking nature, bro. Look at this huge candle. All right. So if that happened right here, I should have shot it right here. But once it break with the huge candle, I shouldn't be in the cells. All right. So that was my mistake. Yeah. Um other thing actually i just uh, i will not uh, cover the candles information like how you can use the daily momentum in your favor because i have covered that in the past uh, video all right 
so you can use the momentum in your favor all right so let me just give you a few examples here let's go to the daily let's go to the daily brother daily man all right <clears throat> by looking at this could you have planned for shots next day yes i think um, if i consider myself yes i would have planned for shots you win if you would have planned for shots it's 50 50 if you win that is good if you lost no problem look at this big candle all right so can you plan the sh longs the next day yes you can because look at this huge thick candle and you can be like man next momentum will be all uh, next maybe they can also be bullish can you sell the next day after um, seeing this candle yes you can all right this candle printed actually if you was planning to sell i'm sure it would have never gave you the entry because look at this momentum even if you have drawn your pois it's it should have strictly broken that because by looking at the momentum i i can just say in advance all right so yeah can you buy next day by looking at this momentum yes can you buy next day no because momentum is fading away look at this candle you can't buy it all right so now price huge momentum to the downside all right by looking at the weekly you also can expect this thing let's go to the weekly for this one uh weekly yeah how you can expect on the weekly look at this weekly loss in momentum all right next week can you expect the bearishness coming in this pair 110 percent bearishness came you took one two three trades uh, one two cells even one or two cells let's say two cells that would have been profit even if one loss one profit that is good all right so you can use this candlestick information in your favor all right by looking at this weekly can you expect next week to be bullish yes you can it is still 50 50 chance all right uh, you may be wrong or maybe right so by looking at this weekly can you expect next week to be bearish as well yes it has pushed so far all right so it was 50 50 chance so you have to look at daily for this one all right so price just simply tested this area and then printed bearish can I expect next week to be bearish yes these are kind of choppiness you can see it on the daily if it is making sense then choose a pair for the session all right so now uh, let's come to the point how i choose my watch list all right i try to combine the multiple things all right if price is on the daily if price it maybe um, in the trend line and it is giving me f and it is fading it is showing me fading nature to the downside what do i mean by that is for example this this is kind of trend line i was not interested right here i was interested right here once candle closed like that i was like man this trend line is kind of price is trying to hold this so next day i planned for sales that was good all right so this type of pairs i keep it in the watch list so this was the first thing or i just count on the momentum of the daily candle if it is looking me picture perfect all right so if daily is huge moment not if daily is decent all right let's say this now next daily is potentially gonna be bullish as well all right so i look for kind of these type of setups and uh yeah man uh here i definitely would have kept this pair for the bias like right here here after seeing this i would have kept pair for the cells after this i was not sure after this i would have been like all right this demand is kind of holding maybe there was demand on the previous uh, like previous chart previous data after this I would have been bullish for the next day. I would have definitely kept this pair in my watch list. All right. And so now we know like how I keep the watch list. Now, second thing is like I try to take as much confidence as I can, like where the daily can pull back. All right. Where the next candle can pull back and then it can just it can just push with the volume. All right. That is the thing I try to do once I make up my watch list. I simply go to certain um, 
areas where the price can reverse all right i just uh, look at certain areas i would say all right and uh i just like to take multiple confluences there for example this was the poi all right let me see which time it is it is new york session so considering the daily was also bearish all right once candle closed like this then i was interested That's all right once candle closed bearish like this i was interested is, is the 10 let's go to the 15 yeah 15 is more clean look at the rejection rejection candle then go for the cells all right so what is my plan now looking at the daily first thing if it is making sense add it in the watch list second thing i like to see the rejection in on the poi huge rejection that is good if that is not rejection i just count on the fifth five minute nature which is fading away all right if there is no rejection i would not say the no rejection if if i want to execute the trade early what i need to do is i just simply go to the five minute and i try to look at the fair fading momentum all right i try to look at momentum fading and i try to look at the pois which is untested in the past and yeah i just try to look at them so that's uh maybe it is giving any trend line and things like that all right so it was my markup i think yeah anyways so yeah so yeah guys that's all i do uh for example this was a nice py all right so once candle printed like that let's see on the uh five what it was like what it was like now i'm gonna go to the five let's see if there is any f uh, okay so once candle close like this strictly go to the one minute close like this go to the one minute and see what the price is trying to do and where the price is trying to tap actually you don't have any enough uh, information so uh, I would have set the order somewhere around here in the imbalance area but price never tapped that so maybe I would have taken the risk here by keeping my stop just little bit above and if it would have given me three r that would have good so if not then i would have skipped the trade anyways this was not really the setup that i would like to trade because um it was good setup though but it didn't really react the way we wanted this poi was also not tested so yeah this trade was decent uh, i would say this is b type of setup where you don't know but you have seen this thing maybe like five to six times then you can execute so yeah we will discuss about the i think we have eight minutes left so uh, so guys just let me know what do you want me to do like i will do the thing uh, Okay. So basically he's saying um, we need to see a setup that I have taken before or uh, or which is looking clean to me or which is high quality setup in the sense. All right. So I'm going to go to gold for this one. Let's go to the daily and let's just um um i would say here now we don't know any we don't have any information about the poi or anything but this daily is looking promising to me man this daily is looking promising and i'm like next daily can also be bullish to maybe fill this um the sort of area yeah, is imbalance also yeah. yeah 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 right 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 so uh, i can be like yeah next daily can be bullish so let's just see where the potential pois are 15 minute we have pui somewhere on here 
let's go to the 10 minute uh, 15 30 now let's see is this the good POI uh, it is very kind of um, four hour wise yeah this is also imbalanced so candle can pull back here actually it is also 24th yeah we are looking the price action on 24th all right so this is a valid point of interest in which daily can pull back and daily can pull back and can print like this all right so it is a valid area which is also in confluence with the four hour level and also imbalance all right so this is the confluence and if we draw this rough trend line maybe price can pull back all right this is also kind of you can add it as a confluence let's see now if price will pull back there or not all right price pull back let's say i personally uh i personally like the 20 pip stops on gold yeah let's say there would be any chalk or flip yeah there was a chalk or flip like price took out this high and uh we executed the trade somewhere around here and i also want to confirm this is the london actually this is way too tricky but this nature is good why this nature is good look it is not impulsive all right so i might can count on this nature target wise maybe this can be the target all right so boom baby daily was in confluence level was high quarterly level this trend line was also kind of playing out sort of all right so uh, and you have to take the fresh trend lines don't take the trend lines which are um, like played a couple of times that is uh, that is just liquidity all right the trend lines which are often touched for example can we for example this yeah yeah bro can we use the other confluence like the divergence on the POI? Actually, as I, as I mentioned, 99% um, of the time you would see the divergence always. You would see the divergence early. You would see the divergence right here, right here, right here, right here. Mm. Yeah, you will see the divergence on the RSI, on these three areas. but. I would say there would be the um, uh, there would be the 99 percent of the chance you will use the divergence what you can use is you can use your common sense you can use your eyes you can use your mind what do i mean by this is the things that you have seen enough all right now this thing was good i have seen this setup multiple times price reaching the pi correctively and we have other confluences we have daily in our favor man this is fucking a quality mm. setup for me all right mm. daily momentum huge momentum poi is decent all right there is kind of rough trend line why why i'm saying rough because it is not so clean but it is good all right mm. try is approaching there correctively it is session time you are expecting the volume to come all right so you can also target um, the imbalance on the daily but to be honest my target would have been like this uh, i might be i might have kept my stops 18 pips because it is way too below the zone man i might have kept the 18 pip stop for this one my target would have been five or something like that um i might have closed the trades somewhere around here maybe uh, i don't know let's talk about the 30 if we do have any pui right there um yeah i might have closed my trade right here to be honest like this was three hour trade and it already took m many hours like four hour so i definitely would have closed my trade right here at three hour all right now i i told you to place your stop just below the low now if you um if you consider this then this was a stop so right now i keep my stop a little bit wider i don't care man if i'm making three percent in two weeks that is good man all right your entry would have been like here and stops 18 pips 18 pips yeah still 3.8 hours 
that is amazing man do you know how how much freedom i have like even if i made three percent in two weeks i don't care man i'm feel good i just i don't know man i just wake up whenever i want so so once you receive the live account just try to make three percent in two weeks don't rush it first first month of course if you make any profit like one two percent just stop there take a refund and then just apply this thing it is very calm on the mind and you you try to be patient as fuck man look at this nature you try to understand the things in a better way all right you 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 give your chance to understand the moves like have you seen this enough or not and yeah man to me this was a quality setup bro i definitely would have um taken this type of trade and i we have one minute left let's just send you guys another link so that we can discuss about few setups more all right so i'm gonna end it right here okay yeah i'm ending yeah nahi theek hai yaar param ya hor kar liye ek adha kar lenge hor personally kar lenge chalo personal kar lenge okay guys i'm just ending the session here guys that's uh, band nahi hona mere ko na nahi itne likha less than minute dobara kar lo